Hi everyone, welcome back to another story time. So today children, we have a very special book and this book is called Pepper Loves Doctor and Nurses. Shall we take a look inside together? It was people who help us day at playgroup and everyone was excited. Now children began Madame Cazelle. Today we have two very special visitors. They are both people who help us. Is one the Queen? asked Peppa. Is one my auntie? asked Rebecca. Rabbit? Dinosaur? asked George. So as you can see children, here we have Peppa, Rebecca Rabbit and George Gesson. Who are the two special visitors that are coming today? Three wonderful guesses, said Madame Gazelle, but the people coming to see us today are Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox. Hooray, cheered the children, jumping up and down. They loved Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox. So as you can see, children are jumping up and down with excitement as they love Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox. When I hurt my leg, I had to go hospital, said Pedro Pony. Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox looked after me. When I was feeling poorly, said Pepper, Dr. Brown Bear made me all better. Just then, there was a noise from outside. The children ran to the window to look. Madame Cazelle, it's Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox. Good morning, everyone said Dr. Brown Bear. Today Nurse Fox and I are going to talk to you about keeping fit and staying healthy. Let's start by going over to the playground and getting our bodies moving. Yippee! cheered the children. They loved moving around outside. So Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox is talking to the children about keeping fit and healthy. Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox had built an obstacle course to keep it fit and healthy. We must move our bodies every day, said Dr. Brown Bear. Madame Cazelle will show us all how it's done. The children watched in amusement as Madame Cazelle completed the obstacle course perfectly. Ta-da, she cried. Now it's your turn, children, said Dr. Brown Bear. Ready, steady, go. Pepper and her two friends set off. They swung, crawled, hopped, slide, skipped and jumped around. This is so much fun, isn't it? Susie cheered Pepper. But as she turned to Susie's sheep, Pepper forgot to look where she was going and... Fell on her bottom. Oops, cried Pepper, thump. Nurse Fox came straight over. Are you all right? she asked. I think so, said Pepper. Good, Nurse Fox, checking that Pepper was not hurt. You can carry on now, Pepper, but please be careful. Thank you for helping me, said Pepper. So Pepper said to Nurse Fox, thank you for helping me. Pepper loved the obstacle course. This is my favourite bit, she cried, jumping high and landing in a big muddy puddle. I'm not sure that's part of the course, Pepper, said Madame Cazelle, smiling splash. Snack time, called Nurse Fox. Hooray, cheered the children. Don't forget to wash your hands before you eat, said Nurse Fox. All the children went to wash their hands. Peppa and Rebecca sang the Wash Your Hands song. So as you can see, children, everyone's washing their hands just before they eat. And they also sing in a song. Wash, wash, wash our hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubble, scrubble, scrubble, bubble. Wash them nice and clean. Eating healthy food helps us stay fit and strong, said Dr. Brown Bear, as he cried to open his snack box. Hmm, this seems to be stuck. Um, 
Nurse Fox, could you help me please? Nurse Fox came over and opened the box easily. Nurse Fox gasped, Pepper, you must eat lots of healthy food to be that strong, everyone laughed. Hee hee hee. Pepper and her friends loved snack time. Yummy, she cried, keeping fit and strong was delicious. You've done such a good job today, children, said Dr. Brown Bear. When they'd finished, I'm going to give you all a sticker. Hooray, cheered the children. They loved stickers too. Madam Gazelle brought out the dressing up box. It's time for you to be the doctors and nurses now, children, she said. Peppa and her friends had lots of fun dressing up. Dr. Brown Bear said, Peppa and Doctor, you must keep fit and stay healthy too. Of course, he replied. The children took Dr. Brown Bear outside and told him to go around and around the obstacle course. One more time, cried Peppa, the doctor. Okay, Puff, okay, Puff. This gasped Dr. Brown Bear. When he was allowed to stop, he looked quite tired. Dr. Brown Bear doesn't look very well, said Peppa. The doctor, I think he needs a plaster. And bandages, asked nurse Danny Dog. And more bandages, asked nurse Susie. Now he needs a sticker, said Pepper. The doctors all, the little doctors and nurses covered Dr. Brown Bear in stickers. Thank you for being so helpful, said Dr. Brown Bear. He was covered in so many bandages. He couldn't move. What a patient patient he was. What do we say to our visitors? asked Madame Cazelle. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. Thank you, Nurse Fox, cheered the children, giving them a big clap. Clap, clap, clap. Pepper loves doctor and nurses. Everyone loves doctor and nurses. So children, I hope you enjoyed this book. Press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.